Hi, I'm Luba Mira, and thank you for joining me. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome to my channel, and if you are returning, it's so good to see you again. Here on this channel, I show you how I combine various card making techniques with elements made with the Cricut. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, that's okay. There are many ways of substituting the things I make with other products you may have in your stash. This video shows you how I make an element using Cricut Design Space to later be used in a card. If you're interested in the card tutorial, you can find a link to that video in the description below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a handy tool that I really love to use when it comes to making small sentiment banners. I love the look of foil, but in the past, I really haven't had much luck in finding a method that gives me consistent results. That is until I start using the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen. I mentioned this accessory in my last video, but today I'm going to take a closer look at this tool. Now the tool itself comes in three individual quill tips, and I will be using the smallest one, which is the pink one. These tips can be purchased individually or as a set. There are adapters that come with the quills that fit most electronic cutting machines. You should know though, that by using this accessory, it can avoid your machine's warranty. So user discretion is advised here. Personally, I love this accessory, but it may not be for everyone. And since its release, other products have come out onto the market to do similar techniques directly from the machine's manufacturer. After screwing on the appropriate adapter, in this case, the C adapter for the Cricut, you can place it into the machine in the A housing slot. Then plug the cord into the USB port in the side of the machine. When it's plugged in and there's power going to it, a light will come on to indicate that it is heating up. This tool does get hot, so you want to make sure that you unplug it when you are done. The kit comes with a metal plate to insert under the tip of the quill so as to protect your machine when it's not in use. However, in the maker, the housing is high enough not to worry about that. The only other thing to be mindful while the quill is in use is the cord. You don't want it to get tangled or caught in the machine. I like feeding mine from the top and then tucking it behind the lid so that the cord never comes in contact with the mat. Now let's get into the program. I prefer using Cricut fonts when it comes to this technique. That's because they have been formatted to be used as writing fonts, and there are several free ones in the program, including the one I use today. To determine which fonts are best, go to the font selection menu, select Cricut fonts, and then turn on the filter for writing. Once you do that, you'll see the entire writing collection. Some of these will be for purchase, while others will not be. For the most part, the fonts without a price are the free fonts included in the program. I'm using the font Telegram Text, which is a free font. Once I have my font selected, I adjust the font size and begin typing my sentiment. Each sentiment I place in its own text box. I do this so that I can manipulate and change individual sentiments rather than the whole if I need to. After I've typed my sentiments, I line them up in columns and attach the sentiments together so that the machine keeps my alignment rather than randomly placing them on the mat. Let's go back to the machine so I can show you the mat and how the Cricut works with the foil quill pen. 
Off camera, I prepped my mat with a piece of cardstock and a sheet of foil. I placed the foil over the cardstock with the shiny part facing up. Now the key to the best result is having the foil make full contact with the cardstock. You want the foil as flat as possible against the paper without any obstructions, including the tape. I taped the foil and loaded the mat into the machine for the quilt to create my sentiments. I made sure that my tape would not get in the quilt pen's path. Once the machine is done, I can unload the mat, take off the tape, and pull the foil to reveal the sentiments. I usually make several sheets of these on both white and black cardstock and in gold and silver finishes. Then I use the sentiments as I need them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Join me next time to see how I use some of these sentiments in an actual project. If you liked this video and would like to see more videos like it, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!